Hi, my name is Dale and welcome back to Metal Tips and Tricks. Right now we are outside Cheyenne, Wyoming and we're with RJ Braggs and we've been talking for several hours of just about everything except politics. <laughs> okay, that's a lie. We did do some politics but we stayed in that safe zone. And we've just been kind of covering all sorts of stuff and one of the things I found really interesting out here is this welding table. So RJ, tell us about it. This table is kind of a work in progress at all times. Uh, I just started working with scrap metal. Things I had, I found myself welding on the floor, welding on wooden benches. We've all done that? Yeah, things like that. So I just needed something, but I didn't have the room for a huge weld table. Okay. This aluminum plate came with my TIG welder that I bought off Craigslist. It was a fair size, so I wanted to start with that. So I built a frame, go around it, uh, kind of made a mistake. The ledge on the outside makes it hard to clamp to. So I wish I didn't do that, but next time I won't. You know, I've come across that same thing. Yeah. Where, so right now there's kind of a lip under here, guys. And because of that, it's not easy to get a clamp around it. So it'd be better to have brought in the edge out. Yeah, yeah. Use the angle probably on the inside. Uh, the uprights. Again, scrap. Most of this came out of somebody's scrap pile. These are uh, C-channel off of a, a lightweight steel structure building. Yeah. Uh, C-channel on the bottom. I bought some casters, uh, nice locking you casters. You actually spent money on it? I spent money on casters, <laughs> but they were in the clearance bin. Okay, good. So That's I got clearance blurry. casters. The other thing was for all the clamp holding is rebar. It's of rebar. So check <clears> this out. So in here where all the clamps are, this is just on rebar. Yep. And I just think these just fit so well together. I also like that you have your sizes. You don't have a bunch of different brands. They're all consistent. It's very helpful. Great. <laughs> and again, everything is kind of, it started out, the, the table started with the sides with the clamps and the top, and that was it. Okay. Then I started collecting grinders <laughs> because <laughs> one's never enough. Yes. So a hard wheel, a flap wheel, and a cutoff wheel. So I just took another piece of one inch angle, welded it on. Okay. And now I've got a place to hang welders so or yeah, hang grinders snap up. Snap in nice and easy. Yep. So that was the next addition. Uh, the next was probably the TIG. So these are just some uh, PVC pipes yeah. glued together. So I've got a holder for TIG wire. Right. Needed a place to store them. They stick out a little bit, so they're a little bit, it, nothing's, this isn't the end of the world, greatest workbench ever, it's just. But it's functional. It's functional. You know, I've, I've done a lot of projects where you just keep building on it because you need something extra, like one of my favorites is, this is so cool, this is just a pipe welded on here so you can just put your MIG gun right there. I did that two weeks ago. Yeah, that is just one of the great simple solutions to a problem we always have. So are you left-handed? Yes. Okay. I was going to say it's on the wrong side. <laughs> and then we have your cutoff saw. Now you'd love this cutoff saw. This cutoff saw is spectacular. It makes me almost look like a good fabricator. <laughs> so this is one of these carbide tip 14 inch cutoff saws. Yeah. Fantastic. Now I noticed one thing you don't have on here, your ear protections. No. That's troll, that's troll food. Yes. I want you to know that that's oh, troll food. Don't worry. You got I'm, safety glasses. The hearing protection is very close by. I, I actually, multiple pairs over there. Oh, yes. So trolls, sorry, no food for you guys today. <laughs> this is just fantastic. And, and again, yeah. this, I've put this on here recently. This is not a great place to have it necessarily, okay. but it's up off the ground. Uh -huh. Before it was sitting on the ground somewhere, yes. I didn't have a home for it. Okay. That was open space. It really wasn't being used. At least it's somewhere. It's better than what it was. Gotcha. You know, in a ultimate end of the, you know, wonderful workbench, I wouldn't necessarily put it there. But okay. for now, it's a great solution. Excellent. Now, one thing I've noticed, this is kind of high. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm looking at the stool. Going, you designed that into it, didn't you? It is. So I am not a highly skilled TIG welder. <laughs> so <laughs> I've been I teaching have my, myself. I have my days. Yes, I've been teaching myself. So I wanted this height. This, again, I started with scrap metal. I had what an open book to work from. 
So I wanted to be at a height where I was comfortable, I could TIG, um, and just work comfortably there. Mm -hmm. It's not bad for me standing, okay. you know, for just normal fabrication, but that's really what it's built around. Excellent. I can fit my foot pedal, and of course, my foot pedal does fit underneath the, uh, <laughs> it's a little bit cramped, but I can take this off, you just most of the time. And I, and I also like the smooth aluminum top here. You've got all your sketches up here for what you're working on. And what's great about that is they don't blow off. That's right. I'd love that. I think that is great. A little bit of acetone and you've got a whole new design. <laughs> RJ, thanks yeah. so much for having me out in the shop thanks, here. Sir. This is fantastic. So guys, if you don't know about what I'm doing, I'm kind of traveling the country. I, you know, I live in Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm going up to Yellowstone National Park to do some photography. And I thought that it'd be fun to visit guys like RJ in their shop and just have a conversation, kind of bringing, our, bringing us together. So if you've got a shop that's kind of in between here and or, uh, Atlanta and Yellowstone, you know, send me an email at dale at metaltipsandtricks.com. And I'll see if I can't work you into the schedule because you guys are kind of driving where I'm going. I, I know where I want to be, I just don't know how I'm going to get there. And there is rumor that I might be driving straight from Yellowstone to uh, the Barzi Summer Bash, so uh, down in Los Angeles. So I may be taking a different route to Atlanta. I may be doing almost going all the way around the United States. So who knows, I may be coming closer to your town than you realize. All right, you guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, Give me some thumbs up. Also, leave your positive, supportive comments. And until next time, go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks.